All right, today I thought it might be a good idea to go through some of the tools that I use um, as a network ops and network engineer uh, out, out in the field. Um, this is the backpack that I use. Um, it's just a normal standard like, you know, Swiss a backpack. I've had it for probably 10 years or so, and it's always treated me pretty well. It's got a lot of different pockets in it and everything. I don't use it probably as efficiently as probably what it needs to be, but it works for me. Um, the first thing I have is a Fluke uh, Link Runner AT2000. Um, this thing is probably the most handy tool that I've ever had. It's super nice. You can do um, check your ports on it, um, see what port you are on. You can also uh, fluke out your wire, make sure all your cable uh, is actually pinned out correctly, all that kind of stuff. Um, I might do a video on this thing because it's uh, super handy. Um, but that's the first thing that I have. Um, second thing that I have on the exterior of this is just Velcro. Um, I always keep Velcro around just in case, you know, things get kind of crazy with the wires or if someone hasn't done a good job of uh, just making things look nice on the patch panel. I always like having a little Velcro around, so I put it on the outside here just in case I need it quick and easy. Um, we'll start off with the sides, I guess. There's nothing in that guy. Uh, on the right-hand side, I always like have a long screwdriver uh, with a flat head. Um, with APs that are up in the ceiling or someplace that you can't reach them, sometimes it's good to have something long and skinny to get up uh, beneath ceiling tiles or behind a, a wall uh, to pop out uh, an AP or uh, any kind of mount. Um, this is a newer one that I have. The last one I had, I actually took this tip of it and I bent it just a little bit. Um, that way when you're, if the, you got your drywall here, if you're trying to like pry out, this tip was actually bent out. So it actually like lift that little pin out uh, on a lot of mounts. So, but this thing works pretty well. So that's what one thing I got. The other thing I got is uh, this would be a fiber cleaner. Um, this is for LC connections. You can actually stick that into the bulkhead um, and then you can actually open it up and then clean your actual fiber ends uh, with that guy. But I always like to have one of these on me as well, um, just in case <clears throat> there's uh, CRC errors or anything else going on fiber ports. I like having that with me. Um, of course, laptop. Always carry that with me as well, wherever I'm going. That's just kind of a given. And the big part here, um, just extra patch cables. Uh, if you got a bad one or if you got to plug in yourself, I have that. Um, this is just a container that I use. Um, this is actually for RJ45 ends, or not, sorry, not RJ45 ends, uh, RG6 ends. Um, but they came in these thing, this thing, and I thought, man, that's a kind of nice little handy tool. So anything that I need in here, I'll just put that in there. Um, got different kind of ends if I'm working on cable TV stuff, which is not too much anymore, but I have that. Um, everybody asked me why I have a lighter in here. Uh, that's because, I don't know if I have one in here. So these little purple ends, this is a, a busted one, but um, this little end here or whatever, the, the shielding of the cable sometimes will not go in there. So I'll heat it up, heat up the cable, and then it just slides right in there and then you can crimp it down really easy. So that's why I have a lighter with me. I don't smoke. But this is a little, this is super handy. I like, I like containers like this that you can keep lots of things in. Uh, need a charger for your laptop. So I always keep one of those on with me as well. I just got done with the job, so I don't have a whole lot of patch cables with me anymore, but usually I have probably five or six of those with me of different lengths as well. So always carry dif different lengths of uh, patch cables with you. Go on to the next place here. Uh, so up front, and this little packet thing, uh, I just got GBIX. Um, these, I got some GBIX that are copper GBIX and then also fiber. Um, so I was like keeping a couple of those with me just in case. Got a bad port. 
batteries. Batteries are actually for my headlamp. Sometimes there are places where it gets kind of dark, so I always keep a headlamp with me and extra batteries, depending on where I'm going. Um, this is the dongle for the Fluke. So you can actually take this guy, um, run a patch cable out there, and then plug this on the other side. Like if you're in another room, plug it in there, and then you'll do a wire map all the way through. Um, so that's always keep that with me as well. Some Velcro, or not some Velcro, but some electrical tape. Um, don't use this anymore because I like using the Velcro, but every once in a while there might be something I got to hold up a little bit just for the time being. So keep a little tape with me. Rack mount screws. Um, there's been a lot of times I went to go put in a switch and didn't have them with me. Um, or there's none on the rack, so I always keep a couple of those with me just so I have them. Chapstick. Uh, and then the last thing that's in here is this is a, uh, a Bluetooth adapter uh, for Aruba switches. So if I want to connect to them from my phone, um, I can use this thing, plug this thing into the Aruba switch, um, and I can kind of con halfway configure the switch, um, get it up and going with this and my phone. That's all I got in there on the front pocket, or on the back pocket. The front pocket, um, I always keep a, a hotspot with me, just in case uh, my network goes out. Uh, these are cables for Aruba devices. Um, so they're console cables, basically. Aruba got away from their DB9 uh, implementation, so a lot of them now use uh, just USB cables. So I have a couple of those with me. USB charger for a carport uh, cigarette lighter. have that with me if I'm in the car. I can charge things. And then I also have a uh, USB to Ethernet port. Um, my computer that I have does not actually have an Ethernet port on it, so I use this guy uh, to connect to a wired port if I need that. That's all in there. Moving on to the main. Um, so I keep bags of a lot of different stuff with me. Um, this bag just has uh, some punch down stuff, so got some jacks in here. Basically all this is is just jacks, uh, and then I got a punch down puck. So if I need to be careful on the walls or something, if I don't have a lot of room, I can put my jack in there uh, and punch down what I need. Got a Cisco cable that I use. Um, so I always leave this thing connected into the Ethernet uh, adapter here. That way I can just pull it out, get ready to go. Um, Usually I always have this with me as well, because you never know when you're gonna run into a switch for the Cisco. Um, different charging ports. Um, this would be for my hotspot, and also I have headphones as well. Uh, I actually got them around my neck now, but usually I have headphones with me. Uh, make sure they are noise canceling. Noise canceling. Um, there's been a lot of places I've been into that have been super, super loud. And you guys that have been around for a while will know uh, a lot of network closets are loud. And if you're on uh, a trouble ticket call or um, on with TAC, you got to be able to hear them. More patch cables. Um, this is a toner. Um, so it's got a light on it. So I've had this thing for quite a while as well. Um, I just tape up the ends that I don't use. Um, this is all I pretty much use. Just plug that into a jack. Uh, you know, it's, it's a phone cable, but it'll go into a normal uh, RJ45 uh, or RJ45 uh, end and plug that into a normal jack. Um, and then you can switch it over, tone out things. So, and this also does work with the fluke. It'll just send out a tone. Um, so sometimes if I'm troubleshooting two ports or can't find a port, I'll plug my fluke into one jack uh, plug this thing into the other jack. Uh, both of them uh, emit different sounds, so I know which one is which, so I can troubleshoot two two things at one time if I need to. Put that back. 
I also have an extra battery buried uh, down in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an extra battery down in there um, just in case if my main battery goes out, at least I have a spare. Um, more patch cables, small patch cables. These are for APs that we use for walls. Uh, and then another uh, USB-C uh, connector. This is what we use for the Aruba switches now. That's what they take. So one end goes into your computer, the other end goes into the switch, and then you can configure it that way. And that is all in that. And then the actual tools that I have that I use, um, we have a couple different strippers. Uh, this is a coax stripper. Um, in case I need to strip out any coax, I'll use this guy. This is also a coax stripper, um, but we can also, I also can use this for normal uh, Cat6 or Cat5 wire. So I got two of them. I probably could just, just go with this one. This one will handle both of it, but uh, I have two. Punch down tool, um, always carry one of these with me and then always have a spare punch down as well, or spare uh, uh, end, um, just in case one gets uh, dull, but they last a pretty long time so make sure you get one that looks like this uh don't get the one that kind of like it's kind of like forming to your hand this these this style here seems to work a little bit better um it's got a lot more pressure when you actually go to click it um the other ones are really weak i found so this is a fluke networks one d d814 is the model number um highly recommend these guys these are really nice uh have a screwdriver that's multiple ends on it so you can pull out all these different ends and, and kind of choose what you want um and then even this has got a hex on it as well so uh super nice having this thing um i don't think i'd ever go back to just a normal screwdriver when i can have everything with this guy so i'll keep this guy for a long time um these are my crimps or my cuts, uh, Klein tools. Uh, these guys are super nice. They are extremely sharp. Um, I've used the crap out of them. You can tell here. Uh, probably used them for a lot of things that shouldn't have been cut, but they still cut through pretty much everything. Um, they work really nicely. Um, I even will cut wire with this. I mean, if I'm doing something really quick and I don't want to get my stripper out, I'll strip the wires uh, with this guy on the cut end. Um, that's what I use for that. Uh, if I got to put on an end, I just carry this with me. Don't really use this too much anymore because most of the things we use are already pre-made, but I have one of these just in case. And a pen. That is the last thing that I have in there. Um, but that's it. So if you have any questions about this stuff or want to see any of this stuff in action, I might do a couple videos on how I actually punch down wires um on a patch panel and then a jack stuff like that and then also how to use the fluke but if you want to see any of this stuff uh specifically send me an email or make, do a comment below and i'll try to help you out thanks